Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going part four of my Grublication guide, which uh, is going to be City of Tears. Now, kind of at this part of the game, it starts to branch out where people might go to different areas in different orders. Uh, so this is somewhat arbitrary, but I think most players on their first playthrough are probably going to visit the City of Tears after the Fungal Wastes. So for the City of Tears, there's going to be a total of six scrubs. One, two, three, four, five, six. Some of these you can get on your first visit, and some of them you'll have to wait until your second visit. Now, this bench is where we're going to be starting at for the first couple. This is actually the bench where you meet Cornifer for the City of Tears map, from which we're reading. Um, so the first scrub we're going to get today is the one directly below us. Um, it's probably the easiest one to get. Um, so you will need to have had the Mantis Claw and the, and the Mothwing Cloak in order to enter the City of Tears, usually, as long as as well as the City Crest. Uh, but you don't need any of those for this grub. Oh no, you need the Mantis Claw for this particular grub. So from this bench, we're going to go down. Now you can uh, fight or dodge the sky, it doesn't really matter. And then we're going to head to our right. We're going to take this lift down. And it's going to stop at this floor. Now here's the grub. There's a, uh, a guard in here. My nail is upgraded, so it'll probably take, if it's your first visit, uh, probably a few more hits than that. And then you've got a Mantis Claw up here. Like this. And you don't even need dash. And then you can just hit the grub. Or the second grub. It's actually going to be in the Soul Sanctum, which is one of the tougher areas in the early game. Now, for this grub, you'll once again need the Mothwing Cloak and the Mantis Claw, but you'll also need the Desolate Dive, which you won't have at this stage, but you'll get it as part of your journey through the Soul Sanctum as a reward for beating Soul Master. So, first thing is to go into the soul sanctum now i have a shortcut here most people are probably going to be going through the main entrance on their first way through this will be where you have a mini boss fight with the soul warrior Now this section will be uh, a somewhat challenging or annoying section because of all the uh, obs in the area. I've already cleared this and opened up the, the shortcut though. And of course I've already been the Soul Master. So this will be the area where you fight the Soul Master. Make sure to top up on Soul by smashing those uh, glasses. And you'll do the fight and you'll actually get the Desolate Dive spell ability that you will need for the grub here. Mantis Claw your way up. Now, of course, once again, I've already opened up all this area, but I'm just going to pretend and go through it as if I hadn't. You're going to Mantis Claw up here, and then this bit will have some glass, which has some cracks in it. You're going to Desolate Dive that. Going straight through those follies. Watch out for the mistakes as they spawn as well. You'll hit this lever. Just watch out for the ambush here. That will usually take two or th maybe three hits with your unupgraded nail. There'll be some more shattered glass here, so you'll desolate dive again. And now you've got to watch out again for the mistakes as they spawn. Mantis claw your way back up here through the glass that you just shattered. There's going to be some cracked ground here and there's a soul totem here if you need extra soul i should also note sorry we'll just quickly go back up if you need any extra soul there is a soul totem up here that you can use to get extra soul so just keep that in mind so we go back through here to where there's this there's, there's gonna be some cracked floor here and a soul totem there's a little dive down. Now watch out, there's a big ambush here. I like to do a Vengeful Spirit to clear the mobs. 
You can also use Desolate Dive. Get rid of the mistakes. And the follies. Then you got a Mantis Claw. Uh, you'll hit the lever and come back through. Now use the Mantis Claw to climb back up again. And then use it to slide down the wall. And here is your second grub for the City of Tears. So for the third grub in the City of Tears, and I mean the order I'm doing these in is purely arbitrary, I'm going to say probably, potentially the order that a lot of people come up, come, come up against them, but not necessarily the case, is going to be the grub in the Watcher's Spire. Now for this grub, you're probably going to have come here after visiting the resting, resting grounds, um, so probably on your second trip to City of Tears. So. I'm going to assume that you've come through and this door will initially be locked and you'll need to approach from the right hand side or you approach from the eastern side and hit this lever. Okay, um, once again you're going to need the Mantis Claw and the Mothwing Cloak. I'm also going to assume that you have the Monarch Wings which you get from the Ancient Basin which is uh, it's not too much of a way out to be honest. Unless you can do the pogo skip, in which case you won't need the Monarch Wings. So from this fountain where uh, Lem is pondering the deeper questions of life in the universe, we're going to head through this door, kill the mobs, and make our way into the Watcher's Spire. We're going to keep flashing the map up just so you can have a good idea. Now, the Monarch Wings in here are handy because then you can just jump up and grapple onto this ledge here but if you don't you can do the pogo skip on these background objects I messed it up hold on there's two shots you can leave the room and come back in uh, I messed it up because I used the wings hold on So if you don't have the wings and you mess up the skip, you can just exit and enter the room and they'll be back. I think that would have made it without the wings, but you get the idea. You can pogo off the object, it'll bounce you up, and then with the Mantis Claw you can grab onto this side and then do another jump. And then just navigate your way through the mobs in this section as you climb your way up. I've already opened up the shortcut, so I'm going to use it, but you'll need to open this door up. We keep climbing up. We go up through this right hand tunnel there. Watch out for the winged mobs and mantis claw your way up then we head to the right and we mantis our way up and now this will be a little dungeon section that you'll have to fight This guy does double damage, so be careful. Like that, so just be careful. It's easier if you have the uh, Monarch Wings. But I'm I mean, I'm just going to shoot him, but you get the idea. And defeating him will open up this cage door that you just heard. And here is our third grub in the Watcher Spire. So for the fourth grub, we're going to be going from the King's Station. From the King's Station bench, we're going to be heading left. And then, you know, just jump up and we just avoid the mobs and keep heading to the left. And out through the exit here, into this main large area. 
Now, you can fight the mobs if you want to, or you can just dodge them, it's fine. We're going to drop down here, and there's going to be a window that we can go through. Now, once we go through the window, there's going to be a Great Husk Sentry, one of those large ones that does double damage, guarding the grub, and when we approach it, it's going to lock us in for a dungeon. So we just go in, here's the Great Husk Sentry, and we just fight it. If you have, well, you have Desolate Dive, but if you have your upgraded spells, um, into maybe Descending Dark, it's going to be a lot more helpful as well with the iframes. So it's going to lock us in, and it, we're going to fight him. So, oh, watch out for that double damage. Don't, don't, maybe, maybe a little bit more careful than what I did there, but you can see that if you're just a little bit more careful, it's not too hard. And here's the grub. So for the fifth grub, we are once again starting from the King Station, and instead this time, we're going to go drop straight down, and then head to the right. Now this one is a dilapidated stag station, which doesn't work. There's a couple of um, bench flies here. You don't have to kill them, but I will. And then just head into the water, and there's actually a secret hole in the wall here you can go through. Now watch out, because these birds do double damage. As I just demonstrated by accident. And then jump up. There's going to be some more. So the easiest way to do this is probably just jump down, jump up and dash. Easy. And here is your fifth grub. So for the last grub, it's actually our last three grubs. I made an error at the start of the video. There's six markers for grubs for the City of Tears, but there's actually eight grubs because that last marker is three grubs. So, uh, for this last grub, in addition to the Mantis Claw, the Mothwing Cloak, and the Monarch Wings, you're also going to need the Love Key, which is obtained in the Queen's Garden, in order to access the Tower of Love. And even though this is a grub for the City of Tears, uh, you actually approach it from the Kingdom's Edge, and you'll also need Isma's Tear for swimming in the Acid Pools that you're going to find in Kingdom's Edge. Now this grub is one you're going to kind of obtain fairly late game. Game, it's going to these three grubs are probably going to be the, uh, among the last few that you're going to get. But just in the the theme of the video, we're going to do them all at once in this one video. So from the King Stag Station, we're going to exit out, and once again, we're going to head down into that uh, hole in the wall, and we're going to head right. Careful to dodge the exploding bird. So, as you can, this is the entrance to the Tower of Love here from the City of Tears. But as you can see, it's actually going to be sealed to you upon your first playthrough, which is what makes this such a late game set of grubs to get. So, head out into the Kingdom's Edge. Use the uh, bloat flies to pogo across. This is where having monarch wings is very handy. And we head up to here and we're still heading right. And this is where the acid pool where we need the Isma's tier. Now watch out for the primal aspids as you climb up. Oops. And so here we, at this point, we head left. So from here we're heading leftwards, just watch out not to fall down too much. And watch out for the hoppers, the primal aspids, and the bellflies. So they do double damage. So we're just being careful how low down we go. Once again, watching out for the hoppers. And pick up the Geo. They're pretty good for farming Geo. So here is the Kingdom's Edge entrance to the Tower of Love. Now, at this point, there will be... 
it, it'll be somewhere in here that you'll need the the key to unlock the tower i've already done that but you'll need the love key and you'll open up the tower you can actually head down here if you wish on the right hand side and there's a lever which is going to unlock those sets of doors which will make getting to the collector boss fight faster from the king stag station in the future you know if you die and have to try a few times so we're going to enter the tower of love we're going to climb up Now, in this room, it is going to get locked into a boss fight with the Collector. I've already done it. But this will be the Collector boss fight. After beating the boss, you can come through here and climb up. And there's going to be one, two, and three grubs. And you can also collect the get the Collector's map, which will give you all grub locations in... Hello nest. One, two, and three. Off you go. Also, just so you know, here where this sign is, if you double jump up and grapple on the wall, there's actually a secret here, and here's the Vitruvian Grub. Which is a bit of an Easter egg. Kind of cool. So that's going to be all the eight grubs in the City of Tears. Some which you're going to get on your first visit, some which you're going to get on your second visit, and some which might not come until much later in your playthrough. But regardless of where you are in your Hollow Knight journey, uh, that's going to be all the grub locations in the City of Tears. I hope you found this video helpful. Please give it a like, leave a comment on any uh, other guides you'd like, boss fights, uh, whatever. Uh, please subscribe, I'm really trying to get to a thousand, and we'll see you in the next video. See you then.